Well, that was, um, <laughs> intense. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube? That's right, I'm Chris Smith. Today, I'm going to be talking about The Witch. Not the last witch hunter, not the season of witch, but The Witch. So, let's talk about the basic plot. The basic plot of the thing is about this guy. He kind of relocates his wife, his five kids to this uh, new area. Then, they kind of deal with some weird things going on, like some witchcraft, you know, uh, possession, you know, black magic. You know, the typical thing where you go to a new house, right? Okay, so what really is good in The Witch is that it actually manages to be a good horror movie. Now, granted, there's not a lot of good horror movies out there. And I'm not a giant horror fan, but only because horror movies nowadays rely on the cheapest way to try to scare the audience. And this movie, it doesn't really do that, per se, really, because it actually tries to make you feel unsettled and actually makes you feel creepy. And that, I think that's really what works. And that's, I think, the, one of the main stars of this movie is the setting. The setting and the atmosphere really captures kind of the time, but it also adds a very, uh, you know, disturbing and very unsure atmosphere of what you're kind of like watching on screen. Now, granted, this movie is visually well made and the cast is fantastic and all across the board. But Robert Eggers, which is his directional debut, if I'm correct, uh, he really does knock it out the park. And he does a really fantastic job at, uh, you know, his first movie, really. You wouldn't even think it's his first film. Now, granted, this movie is a slow burning thing and it does build up the tension, though. So that's a good thing. So, look, uh, there's no problem with a slow burn as long as it's actually building up to something. Now, that's what this movie does well. Slow burn may or may not kind of drag people away from this movie. But don't let that do. I think it does build up to something good, and I think you'll enjoy it. But also, for me, while watching this, I feel like this movie almost felt like a very old-school thing. Like, almost like a 70s uh, horror movie uh, of sorts, or like early 80s, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just like a very uh, low budget, but they capitalized on what they had and didn't really show their negatives. And I feel like that's kind of what worked uh, very well in here. But for the most part, look, it's a very uh, chilling and, you know, creepy movie. And the last 30 or a half hour or whatever you want to call it, a uh, few minutes is really where I feel like the film really kind of kicks into high gear. Uh, but if you're willing to give The Witch a chance, I think it really will deliver on what you're trying to see. And I think it actually managed to be one of the better horror movies in recent time compared to something like The Forest or The Boy or The Gals or The Pyramid or whatever the hell you want to call it. I think it actually does something new uh, and fresh that we haven't seen in quite some time. And that's actually be scary. Um, but yes, that's my review. Comment, subscribe, and like. Go see The Witch if you have a chance. And signing out.